It's kind of quiet, isn't it? There you go. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you, you're not going incognito. <laughs> Well, it's kind of quiet because it's like a recording from, uh, I don't know, the 60s? Six, seventies? Yeah, so the, the, early, audio, the, the audio quality is not the highest. <laughs> well, that's the same era they made Led Zeppelin 1, Led Zeppelin 2, Led Zeppelin 3, and Led Zeppelin 4. I mean, they certainly could have decent audio quality back Oh, then. yeah. Wow. The TV show wasn't Led Zeppelin. <laughs> no, I guess Sid and Marty Croft weren't uh, Jimmy Page and Robert Plant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like how they had parts of the show integrated <laughs> into the theme song. Yeah, you know, you know. You have, to, right? ima you have to imagine like yeah. a, uh, like not even animatronic, like a claymation dinosaur. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. sure we can show it in a second. Uh... What? What is it? Ta -da! <laughs> so that was uh, the, uh, the the Land of the Lost theme from uh, I think 1976 from the uh, legendary. Croft Family Super Show by yeah. Sid and Marty Croft. They did I'm not sure if that was big over uh, over in Europe, but uh, huge. I used to watch that every uh, every Saturday. They did a remake with uh, Will Ferrell, which was actually pretty funny. Yes, funny only because it had uh, Danny McBride in it. Yes, Danny McBride. Uh, Danny McBride. Uh, I think he's really like that. He doesn't act. He's like a Bill Burr. Yeah, I, 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 really, think, I think that's all him. He's really an asshole. Uh, huh? We gotta <laughs> hang out. We gotta we gotta get the show big enough that we can get him on it as a guest. Yeah. And speaking of big guests, -da! ladies and gentlemen, -da! the great, the legendary Chris Sutton. Hello, guys. Star FM. <laughs> nice to be here. Radio Thank concern. you. So, so are we on the line right now? So, or what? We are, we, we are live right now. Yes. Okay, so nice. first we should welcome everybody. Welcome to the uh, Dumpster Fire Gambling Stream for Thursday, Thanksgiving Stream. Yes. A very special stream. How come? You're the only American not celebrating very Thanksgiving. Special. Yeah, because I'm not in fucking America. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, that would be why. Yeah, it would uh, make sense. Yeah, yeah I mean, I don't, even, I don't know if the, the turkey has even been invented over here. But I do have a, uh, a Thanksgiving-themed quiz for you to take later on. Yeah, I, I, well, you, you, you told and me... And I also have, uh, it's not exactly a turkey dinner, but I do have a meal prepared for you. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, uh, yum, yum. <laughs> yeah, yum, yum, gay. <laughs> so, to everyone else is not going to have dysentery tomorrow, welcome to the Dumpster Fire scene for Thursday, the 23rd of November, 2023. Okay, enough of the bullshit. Let's play. Yeah. Do we have a, is there a Thanksgiving themed game? Apfel Peter, 1, 2, 3. Apfel, Apfel, Apfel Peter. Whoa, two, two viewers on Twitter. That's twice what we normally yeah. have. Chris must really yeah. be popular. Yeah, man. Hey, but yesterday there was uh, there was a lot going on in, in the Spins chat. I mean, the mods couldn't even uh, handle it. Yeah, but, but, yeah, but, but, I don't but, know. There was like a shit lot of people. Jerta, well, who's the guy that hates us? Jerka? 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 Uh, no, he wasn't there. But everybody was like in the main channel. They was like, "Oh, uh, we gotta stop the promotion because there's so many people and shit." And like, what were they promoting? And then I was like uh, helping them posting dick pics and shit. What was the promotion? Uh, no, no promotion? regular. It was oh. regular shit. I mean, uh, my theory is that in the most the most people are from Finland over there. Okay. And now it's a time where everybody's fucking depressed as fuck because right. it gets it's like twenty hours a day in darkness. So everybody but, says. I mean, like. If it's Berlin, the best part oh. of Berlin is the night. Oh, Katya, there was a huge free spin giveaway yesterday. Ah, there you go. Oh, why don't we have a free spin? I don't know. I, well, uh, but, but speaking of giveaways, uh, in the event that we hit a 200x, you at home, the home viewer, the most important part of the show, yeah. the fourth member of the team, if yeah. you will, will get a 50% deposit bonus. In a 500x, you will get a 75% deposit bonus. And in the unlikely event, of a thousand X, but don't say it couldn't happen because Banana Man. Yeah, it happened a couple of times before. It and happened. yesterday we had a 500 X. Yes, how much time? You will get a 100% deposit bonus. So go out, cash your grandmother's social security check, cash in your mortgage, take out a second mortgage on the house, whatever you have to do to get that free money. But <laughs> you ain't getting shit unless you do what, Banana Man? Smash the claim button. Smash that claim button. <laughs> All right, let's get down to business. Now, uh, where are we starting at? We are starting at a, oh. 2,237, so apparently... So I read, if you got a 500X yesterday, you have frittered the money away. You pissed it right away. No, dude. Uh, what, what were you down, like a thousand bucks? 1,700. Ooh. Oh. And then I hit a 500X in two times 200X. Okay. So uh, yesterday was, uh, was uh, booming. Yeah, fair enough. I, I don't know. I, mean, I must have, uh, I don't know, helped a grandma cross a cross, crossway? I don't know. Something happened, so uh, it was quite lucky yesterday. All right, well, pick a game. 
Uh, there was five. Why don't we, we let our guests for here? Chris, uh, I have you turn no you on? fucking idea about these games. Just I don't know anything about the rules. Let, let's see. Just I, 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 I'm, I'm always just, just spit at the screen, and wherever it sticks, that's the game we'll play. Uh, spit on the screen. Yeah, just <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm not sure it's like a big loogie, so we can see. <laughs> Fuck you, dude! I didn't want to. Clear. You know, you know, I, did I hit the uh, wipe the cream, the whipped cream from the monitor, uh, and it was already hard the next day when I noticed it. What about the cream? Well, that's, yeah, you know, they they were like doing some whipped cream What's shenanigans. You cream? No, oh. it wasn't mine. Okay. It was, uh, no, we were, we were actually doing a promo for your station for the for our party on Saturday. Yeah, of course. Yeah, we, were, you know, we had uh, for for our party. Was it? It was for no. Wait, as a matter of fact, it was not for our party. I think it was for the the party we're on tonight. Ah, oh, okay. They say yeah. It was, it was yeah. the DJ Tanya, and we were doing a promo for the party we will be going attending after this. But that is not the important part. Is here. So uh, any German fans, if we have any, uh, will be interested. <laughs> <laughs> that the Banana Man, Evil Jared, and the Great Chris Sepp will be hosting the Star FM pre. Cyber Monday party Saturday night <laughs> at the France Club in the Kulturbrauerei in uh, in Berlin and the yeah. and it's it's at gonna be it's the party of the year 10, 10 p.m. doors yeah. open and then we start uh, if this man is drunk enough to to go on stage and uh, go behind the decks and have some party yeah it's our party but you're gonna get the the, the presents I've uh, I've gotten a lot of uh, a lot of Christmas crap we're gonna be filming a video for our Christmas song. Uh, yes. Which means always free crap for the audience, and of course, shitloads of free Jägermeister. Yeah, let's go, Tim. Yeah, he ordered three or four liters of Jägermeister. So per hour, per hour, <laughs> per hour. Yeah, they, they, we're not kidding. It's, it's for real. So anyone watching who lives in Berlin and wants to have a Jäger shot with us, or doesn't matter where you live, it's worth the drive. Yes. Trust me. Some uh, some guest list. We put out some guest list today. Yeah, okay. What do you think about that? Yeah, sure. On, on on the air here. Yeah. So, maybe. I'll be honest with you, I don't think any of these assholes in Finland are gonna drive down, but who knows? <laughs> don't fucking know. <laughs> maybe. Hey, we, we have three assholes on uh, uh, Twitch. Uh, I want to play, play this Mafia game. I wanted to play it yesterday, but I didn't. So. And what's the one. What was the really racist uh, game about Mexico? We, we made uh, really money. Border. We made some good pesos with that. Yeah, but it, it's, uh, it bleeds money really quick. Actually, uh, this one too. Oh, you wanna risk it, or you wanna. Uh, yeah, take a hundred bucks on this one. All right. All right. So here we we're go. off. But Jared, but I'm also prepared for for maybe an hour. So I got some some questions. Oh yeah, you prepared something. Yeah. Oh nice. I'm, yeah. I'm a prepared guest. Okay. Um, so I got some question uh, question nobody would ask. Okay. Is this is this for a giveaway for uh, or is this the uh, no you can't kind of like kind of interview us oh, that's just, just like a, because okay. I'm 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 a radio guy you know uh -huh. so I have I have my my question I want to give this question to you so you you can uh, ask okay well I mean it's cool it. it's cool you're still into the legacy media yeah. you know yeah us us guys are into like the more modern media here <laughs> such as uh, streaming and Twitch and uh, spins or whatever but you know it's oh cool. let's say uh, speaking of a uh, new age media I'm gonna do a story that we gonna have to post. Oh, you know what? I was thinking, like, you know, like on uh, another legacy media, TV, like they don't just have like the intro music. They also have like music at like, you know, when they run the credits at the end. And I found the perfect song. Really? Yeah, it is the worst song you will ever hear. You want to say the intro or is outro? Uh, it's outro. Okay. All right. So, okay. You want to do your post first and then we'll yeah, go yeah, before let's, let's, uh, let's do the... Wait, I got to get my tip upright. <laughs> okay, okay, is it video or is it no, no, right, right. <laughs> right. what, what are you doing? Uh, story. Oh, take okay. pick, take pick. No, no, no. Alright, uh, story. Uh, hey, what's up? Yeah, we gotta, you gotta say something. We gotta no, we don't. Video. <laughs> we don't. It's, I think, I it's think this photo. I think this speaks for itself. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're live now. And the link is gonna be over over here. It'll be right, right around Chris's face here. Yeah, yeah, it's it's right. over here. Yeah, here. Yeah, here. Like, Incognito, you know? Yes, so click on it. Uh, we're gonna give some giveaways. Link in bio. Link in bio. Or around here or here or here. It's Lincoln Park. <laughs> or is it Lincoln Park? Lincoln Link Homo. Lincoln, <laughs> Lincoln Homo. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Alright. So, do you understand the fucking rules of this game? Do you understand the rules of any of your game you, you Not play? Not at all. Nah, I mean, not important. It's not blackjack, you know? You just wait around and see if you win something. Okay, well, wow, that's cool. 
Like, it'll say free spins, but then you don't get any free spins. So but I think, I think, like, most of you have to get three or four of something, and then you win something. But first of all, I'm, I mean, I'm your, I'm your fucking guest, and the first thing you ask your guest is, do we want to drink something? Do we want to have... Yeah, I, I, I'll, get so, your, I'll get you a drink. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> before we went on the air, we offered you both drink and drugs, and we turned them both down. <laughs> drink and drugs. You know, you, know, you know, I can lead you to the heroin. You've got to boot it yourself. <laughs> I'm not getting into that. All right, so something's going on here. Like a bunch of wilds and, oh, that means 40 cents. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, I like that. So uh, talk about Saturday. You're prepared for Saturday? More or less. I got, we were premiering our Christmas song. Yeah. Then. I don't know if it'll be available on Spotify, but that will be the live debut of the Evil Jared and Krogi uh, Christmas song. We'll be debuting it. Is it a cover or is it a new song? No, it is a new song. Oh, this, right. uh, this is a song that we wrote. Yeah. Uh, it's called Santa's Wife's a Ho Ho Ho. Okay. Yeah. All right, and uh, we'll be premiering it there, but... <laughs> There's a name? I didn't know, I didn't know the name. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we... I haven't seen Krogi. Like, we didn't do it in the same studio. Okay. Like, me and the guitar player and the producer are in a studio here, and Krogi is in Hamburg somewhere. So we never actually got together, which apparently is the modern way to write the songs. But I don't think the modern way is to perform them live and not have ever actually practiced with each other. Yeah, so sounds good. I mean, like, if we do any rehearsal of the song, it'll be in the dressing room right before we go on stage. Nice. I love it. But it's going to be full playback, yeah. so it's just us. Like, Krogi has to actually know what he's doing. You want to do the Milli Vanilli? Yeah. It's coming out on, on Saturday. It's coming out on yeah. Saturday. Okay. I just got the, the final, more or less final master about two hours ago. So we can listen to it today. Maybe maybe they'll play it. Maybe they'll do a sneak preview of it. Oh, oh yeah. I like Sage that. Club, but I, like I wouldn't that. count on it. Okay. First Christmas song. Is it first Christmas song for you, or do you make some Christmas songs before in the past? Uh, with Bloodhound Gang, I think we made some Christmas songs. Jenny in Yuha. Yeah. Alright, um, right, are we. Have you tagged us? Yes, but it's All uploading right. right now. Alright. In Tumo. Alright. Oh, nice, we got some viewers on, uh, on Twitch. Whoa, we have four? Wow! Hey, yeah. Uh, that's, that's like quadruple our normal yeah. rate. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta behave now. You have, you have an audience. I don't know if I told you this, but. Like, everything on the show today is going to be kind of fucked up. Because, you know, normally I will amass we news of the weird during the week. But I haven't had any internet. Like, normally, the internet on my phone and my phone barely works in my apartment for some yeah. reason. Because, you know, we're in the furthest, northest uh, reaches of the Arctic Circle. You gotta, oh, no, we're not! You, no, we're in the middle of the biggest fucking city on the continent. But still, my phone doesn't work in my fucking apartment. Yeah, in the middle of the city. Then because you have asbestos in your, in, in your walls. Welcome to Germany. No, no, they just built the apartment. Oh. The apartment's only eight years old, so it definitely doesn't have asbestos. It's got something else. I mean, maybe it has, like, immigrant bodies in the, in the walls, but it doesn't have asbestos. They're not allowed to do that. Yeah, welcome to Germany. Germany, so you can watch Netflix on New Zealand's highest mountain. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah but nothing. <laughs> nothing in your so, so, you know, so I normally count on the Wi-Fi, which at this point, you know, it's a little bit flaky there, but it has worked more or less. And it stopped working last Thursday and just started working, like, two hours ago. So it's been 168 hours Damn. with no internet at all. Because this doesn't work. Like, if I'm sitting in the subway, I have internet. Other than that, I got nothing. Yeah. You know, and then I, like, you'll notice I'm wearing a Band-Aid. Because yeah. I called up uh, Vodafone, who's yes. a provider. And I'm like, yeah, because I had seen some of the people in our building. They're like, they called and bitched. Yeah. And then they sent them, like, a wire, a, a router that, like, works over Wi-Fi. Yeah. So I called and bitched. like, oh, no, you're not eligible. I'm like, no, what are you talking about? I'm up in the same fucking building. Oh, oh, well, I don't know. For some reason, it says no. And I took a knife and I started like slamming it, started stabbing my desk. And then it was a folded knife and it closed on my finger. Uh, <laughs> like, you motherfucker! Oh, 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 oh. How deep is it? Uh, it's, it's, it, you have a band aid to cover this back up? Because once I opened it up, it might start bleeding. Oh, uh, you. Yeah. Like, I was at wrestling and like there was blood all over the mat. And I was trying to, what the fuck, is somebody get hit in the face? And I look at my hand and it's covered in blood. Uh, <laughs> and then I was at boxing and like, blood started dumping out the bottom of the glove. I should have made some pictures. Yeah, well, <laughs> coulda, shoulda, woulda. But in any case, so I haven't seen any, any new TV shows. I haven't seen, is there a new Rick and Morty this week? Uh, any new yeah, Sunday. Was, was, okay. was there last week? Yeah, it was okay. Yeah? 
Yeah, it's not. Well, I mean, I can't. I can't give you, give you any TV show reviews or movie reviews because I haven't been able to watch any. I haven't. I haven't, uh, I haven't uh, watched that much uh, Netflix neither. Like, the only thing I've been able to watch is I found in the basement the only thing, a, a DVD that I guess I had cracked at some point because it, it's the only one that's not restricted to, to be able to be used in Europe. Yeah. Every other DVD I found on there, I'm like, oh, well, I'll just, I'll just catch up with my favorite TV shows from the 80s. Every fucking one won't play. Uh, yeah, the same happened to me. I forgot that they put the fucking restrictions on DVD yeah. back in the day. Why? I, I have no fucking clue. But anyhow, I'll, I've been watching the same disc of season three of Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Oh, yeah, that's a great show. And over and over again. Uh, Alexi, oh, uh, good evening, Mr. Banana Man, and the rest. Oh, you're the oh, rest. We're the rest. <laughs> we're, the rest. We're, yeah. not even, hey. <laughs> we're not even the professor and Marianne. We're the rest. The rest. <laughs> there you go. Extremely good luck for tonight, and thanks for the bonuses yesterday. Oh. Yeah? Hey, they know the hands that feed them. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Fuck this guy, huh? <laughs> oh, um. The rest. <laughs> All right, so do you want you want to uh, listen to the song that we should use uh, as the uh, for the for the closing credits? Yes. Okay, Google. Uh, I won't back down. Don't On name. YouTube. By Laura Trump. Oh jeez. <laughs> this is the official theme of MAGA. Um, top, the the estate of Tom Petty has forbidden her yeah. from from playing it or even thinking about it. She still she still they still play it. I will down. Uh, what? Laura Trump. Laura is L A R A. Alright, it's gonna autocorrect. Alright. This one? Yeah. La- Laura Trump. Okay. Yeah. And uh, the, the the state didn't ban her from playing it because they were so worried about it, disrespecting the, the estate of Tom Petty. They were playing it because cats were listening to it and committing suicide. Okay. Yeah, you probably won't, won't be able to play it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, um, I'm going to put this other game uh, on, on No Limits. All right, but get right. This is going to be the most hor- hor- horrific thing you've ever subjected your ears to. Hang on. I, I, I'm going to put some uh, game before mm-hmm. we start. Uh, Do you remember that MAGA auto-tune song we played the other week? Uh, vaguely. Yeah, this makes that sound like Stairway to Heaven. What's about uh, Benny the Beer? You play some fucking... Oh, you don't play Benny the Beer? Uh, it's, yeah. Beer in the name, so it's... Yeah, that's a, it's like a... Like a Disney cartoon. It's a hacksaw. Yeah. All right, well. Whoa. Oh, that, that guy's built like you. It's, 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 yeah, it's uh, Disney-like, so he's, okay. he might or might not be racist. Huh. Uh, yeah, when we had that, con- that, that mustache going contest, you look just like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, so... Hey, we just made 70 cents! I'm just gonna pay you a second, because otherwise we get a strike on uh, copyright shit. Right. I mean... Ah, oh, that fucking voice! Somebody told that chick she could sing. Oh! Ah, oh, that voice is like fucking oh, yeah. nails. Like some people's voices are like. Wait, wasn't she the girlfriend? Is, is, that's is, is that's, that married? that's the son. Uh, one of his, one of the like dumber dumber, one of Tweedle Tweedle Dumb and Tweedle Dumb. One was, of their wives. Uh, I think it's Eric Trump's wife. But I thought they were like just her dating, not well, married. Her name's Trump, so I'm guessing. I mean, maybe they're cousins. Yeah, I, don't know. I, I don't trust them. <laughs> you, you probably just use it without officially. Being we should married. play it on Star Event. Yeah, I mean, some voices are like fingernails on a blackboard. Yeah. Hers is more like a razor blade on a bone. Yeah, Alexa said it's fucking horrible. Oh, check it out. Oh, uh-huh. damn. Okay. We now, want 10 free spins. Okay, Chris, this is where you make the money. Oh, okay. Supposedly. So the free spins is where it's like the, the money maker. Okay. I have. I, 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 okay, I, some clocks. Oh, yeah. Huh? Right, we're racking cool. up the money now. Cool. Yeah. Big win. Yeah, they're 21 bucks is their definition of a big win. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's life-changing money yeah, right there. there. Some, <laughs> some maybe 500 bucks or something. Hey, we're splitting the money we make today, so I mean, I would like dial like the first six numbers at Star FM and just get ready to hit the last one because <laughs> you're going to be able to quit by the end of the day. <laughs> you can tell your boss to go fuck himself. <laughs> and we've made shit in like, 34. Uh, yeah. Uh, it doesn't even get us back up to, doesn't even get us back up to parody. Uh, it gets other, uh, jumping in. Uh, you know, 
You told me. To beer? You told me I have to be oh. here before we start because when we are streaming, you don't open the door. Yeah, Why? Right, but I think you had to get there at, at seven. <laughs> and he, they're not supposed to be showing up now. Who, who is oh, that? they're sending the beer. Oh, they're sending the beer. Yeah, okay. they forgot to send the beer. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I noticed what beer we have here. Yeah, but it's uh, free. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, yeah. even I can see that. I'm fucking blind. <laughs> uh, oh, Jared, can you repost the story? Oh, right. I would repost the story, but your internet is fucking. Do you have Wi Fi or something like that? Yeah, the, well, the password is on the fridge. On the, the fridge? fridge? Yeah. But, maybe, but, 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 but this is 2023. Can't, it just, can't your phone just share it with her? What is the what is the right. Um, let me see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> yeah. You can share it. You have it. I should be able to share it. Oh. You can share it? I think so. Don't fucking know. Oh, I have to go to the fridge. You might, for, you um, may find yourself on the fridge. There's a QR code on the fridge, and you just take a picture of it, and then yeah. So, <laughs> all right. So finally, Evil Jared is in the driver's seat. <laughs> Chad, what is going on? Welcome to the stream. All right. So, uh, joining us later today, as usual, at least in uh, NFL season, is going to be former German Wrestling Federation. World champion Tarkin Aslan, who is our NFL expert. He'll be going over all the scores and highlights from last week, uh, as well as other sports trivia. And after that, uh, I have prepared a special Thanksgiving challenge for the Banana Man, where not only uh, will we test his knowledge of Thanksgiving trivia, but also he, if he's lucky, will receive a delicious meal. And uh, that is all coming up. I think we'll probably start the news since we've been going a little bit late uh, and we got to shoot a video today. Uh, I think we'll start the news at about quarter two. Oh, what do you think? I got another $8 watch. Should I wear this in the video? I mean, that looks kind of Christmassy, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, pretty nice. Uh, um, so, you got it? Uh, you know what? I just reposted something from Chris, but I don't know if that was. Uh, no, you, you got to repost. I have access to the stuff. I'm Instagram account. We could make a live feed. Oh yeah, we should do that. Oh, if you so wanna do a live, we can fucking rebellion. Yeah. Check it out. Yeah. Yeah. We can put it down here, and then we just uh, do just, a live. Just, I think we should do it when. Just a short story. No, no, we should do it when Emilio gets to eat his meal. Okay. And when Holly comes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can wait for Holly, and then we go. Uh, yeah. uh, on the... So I have my question. Do you want to answer my questions? Sure. So that's a question nobody would ever ask you. Okay. Okay. So what is your cup? You got a, like, uh... My cup? Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't need a lot of drink out of bottles. Alcohol free yeah, 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 yeah. You don't need alcohol free beer. Alcohol, alcohol free alcohol. alcohol. What's, what is the ugliest object in your house? Oh, that would be the owner. <laughs> the owner. <laughs> It was just about yeah, no, to say uh, that. What's, what's the ugliest thing in your home? According to my kid, like I found, I, I, when I first moved to, to Germany, I, uh, I figured I was going to stay here for like six months. Right. Yeah, so, you know, and I had like some shitty student looking apartment. And, you know, I'm not going to waste a bunch of money furnishing Shit. the house. You know, I'm like, look, I'm not going to stay in this crazy country for very long. God damn so, it. my entire house was furnished straight from IKEA. So yeah. I had like, you know, the Ikea bed, Ikea dressers, the Ikea, whole thing. Ikea yeah. kitchen table. Student yeah, yeah, yeah. Student flat, yeah. But, you know, as I ended up staying here longer, you know, and it was never clear that I would stay here, you know, forever, but I would, uh, let's see if we go 100 of these. I would start replacing the, uh, the Ikea stuff. You know, either when I could afford to go out and get something decent, or if I found something nice on the street. Because, yeah. you know, you find nice shit on the street. So, you know, at one point, someone in our, our building was giving away, like, a really nice, like, wooden table yeah. that you could play beer pong on. You know, All right. So I got that. And then a couple weeks ago, and I had the, the wooden table, I threw out the the, the, the hideous, like, glass and chrome table yeah. that I had gotten from my Ikea. But I still had, like, the, the shitty plastic and, and metal chairs. And then a couple weeks ago, someone had, had set out these, like, nice wooden chairs with, like... They're kind of 70s looking. I mean, the chairs would be nice, except they have like 70s green, like pastel green um, fabric on them. But I'm like, fuck it, these are nicer than the Ikea ones. So I put those <laughs> in there. And according to my daughter, those are the most hideous things she's ever seen. Because they're dark wood and the table's like light wood. And I'm like, okay, you know, that kind of works. She's like, daddy, my God. Have you never seen an episode of them? So you catch every. Have you never seen an episode of the Kardashians? That does not work. You catch everything from your from your apartment uh, from the street? 
no. But if I'm but if I'm going if I'm walking down the street, if there's something yeah. I really want, like I used to get you those, Steve's it. Exactly. I had those like oh <laughs> wait. <laughs> We're gonna have a beer contest. <laughs> yeah. Like if um, I would get like the those really cheap particle board dressers yeah. from IKEA, and even without me flying to a range and destroying them, they just fall apart on their own. You know, and you know the drawers are made out of uh, uh, mostly cardboard. You guys know each other? No, no. Oh, Tim. Hi, uh, Chris. Hi. Chris. Nice to meet you. Um, the drawers are like mostly made out of cardboard. So like if you put more than like two pairs of underwear in them, they fall apart. So eventually I'm like, okay, I want to get like fucking, like real solid like oak. Hey, Colorado. For that. Colorado 89. Yeah, so I went out and bought like these big, from the Danish place, yeah. like the big solid massive oak dressers. And yeah. Got a couple of those in there. So it's, I'm not against spending money. And then I, I bought a really nice couch. I found this fucking awesome couch. At like an expensive place. It was like, you know, I never spent 3,000 bucks on any piece of furniture. Yeah, I know. Before. <laughs> and, you know, I get that. And I like tell my kid, okay, don't fuck around on the couch. Because, you know, it's expensive. And, you know, I don't want to be like the old Italian families in South Philly. You go, you go down there, like when I was a kid in the 70s and 80s. And, like, they have a couch. And the couch was, like, laminated. It was covered in, like, plastic over the cushions, and you still couldn't sit on it. I'm like, well, if you can't sit on it, what the fuck is the couch there for? Oh, but look, but look how that's ah, Great for fucking, though. Yeah. No stains. <laughs> oh, no. You, you can't even sit on it. How are you going to fuck on it? Slip on it. Yeah. So, like, needless to say, I've never fucked on my couch. Hmm. Do you know of? But, uh, <laughs> you know, I didn't want to put cushions on, so I just I'm like, okay, don't fuck around on it. You know, no, no Sharpies, no magic markers, no crayons. So what did she do? She like made a squishy, like she filled a balloon with I don't know, shaving cream and glue and, and food coloring. And she was playing with it on the couch yeah. and it fucking explodes. <laughs> hey, you never get food coloring into your couch? I would've been, it would have been better if she used a fucking shark. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking disaster. What's the ugliest thing do you do you in your house? Uh, I, I know what. Take this, this oh. Yeah. Jesus. It, it is the dirtiest. It, it's the not dirtiest. The ugliest. Not the ugliest. Have you uh, seen his dog? <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, my dog is... Uh, he his he looks nice. He's just an asshole. But, fuck, he, fucking but the Isaac. optics are on yeah. top. You know? Everybody loves him until they met him. <laughs> my dog looked like that. I'd shave his butt and teach it to walk backwards. But that's just me. Well, they, they, you've seen him <laughs> actually <laughs> around like Pia and other chicks. They, he loved them. He just he's, just waiting, you. he's just waiting to bite him. He hates, he, he hates just Jared. Yeah. But he loves blonde chicks. I mean, I, I love dogs with it. <laughs> so he didn't bite me when I come in here. He will. He will. <laughs> as soon as you turn your back on him, you know. And the, I know I don't want to be racist, but I mean we're not in Asia anywhere. But if I had the chance, I would definitely eat your dog. <laughs> All right. In a, second, in a second. <laughs> uh, hang on. Are we making money or are we losing money? You kind of. If you want a drink or something, there's some uh, somewhere out there. Take a cup. Yeah, yeah. Sure. So next question. And now, wait, wait, wait. What, what is that least in your, your apartment? Hey, I'm yeah, opening the fucking door all day, goddammit. Oh, shit. We tell these motherfuckers, don't show up in the middle of the stream. Yeah. Um, the ugliest thing in my... is... I don't even know. Uh, you're gonna need, need some more chairs, everybody. We're hemorrhaging well, they yeah, over there. I can't sit on... On this one, yeah. Oh, no oh on, on Tim's lap. Genius idea. Oh, no. <laughs> I think that's Tarkan. Then Holly's coming and Sven is coming, right? Oh, yeah, wow. But I told it's Sven, full house I told today. Sven, don't show up until after we're done streaming because I don't want the. I don't want the yeah, I don't want that. That's I don't, I don't know. know. Maybe my wife would say it, it's it's me. No, no. But um, maybe maybe my couch too in my in my huh? office. I think. Yeah. So be honest. You fucking rockstar. How much cash do you have right now in your pocket? No, in my pocket look. or wallet? Let's take a look. So, on you, wallet, pocket. I have. Let me see. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Uh, oh yeah. yeah. Well, I got two, there it is. I got 250 on me. What do you got? 250? Yeah. Well, we're going out to the you, club after you, this. You so, want to know what I have? So I'm going to need to buy some drugs. And <laughs> <laughs> I can show you. In Germany, we call it 
Fund Marke. Oh, that's the those. only thing I have. Is that an old one from <laughs> the Sage Club? No, no, that's, that, that's, a, that's a coin from... Um, uh, you also, you also have. That. That's a coin from a from a local um, pub in uh, in my hometown. Keto Cherry is Dodge coin. Yeah, my my dog is a Dodge dog. So, Banana Man. Yes. How much cash do you have in your in your wallet? In my your wallet. Right my now? wallet is in the living room. Should I get it or what? Yeah, we got time. Yeah. And, uh, another guest has just showed up. I'm not sure who it is. Not fun. Full house here today. Oh, our, our sports expert. Yes, oh. exactly. Hey, which oh, expert are you? you? Twitch. As a you Twitch football guy. Huh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He always takes like a... He's like a chain smoker, so... 220. Hey, I win! <laughs> <laughs> oh, but we're gonna like keep that 100 out? Because we're gonna... like Not now, but uh, don't spend that. Because we're gonna need to do some... Um, we need to roll that up to do some stuff later on. Oh, not okay. not illegal. <laughs> stuff for the video. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. okay. Kind of okay. quasi illegal. All right. So what do you think? Should we stick with this game, or are we hemorrhaging money here? Yeah, we're, we're, we're bleeding money here. That's that's. Well, fun. let's go to like a classic. Let's go to like Honey Bunch or something. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This is a game that we sort of know the rules to. <clears throat> what was the highest win you ever made? Uh, I think we had like a 4,000 X one time. Really? Like, yeah, it wasn't on, we were in Malta, we were playing on the company's stream okay. their, with their money, but uh, we hit like 4,000 X, which would have yeah, been great we, if it was on ours. But. Yeah, and we didn't even notice, like we were like talking shit and everybody in the chat was going crazy. You motherfuckers, I've never seen that. And then people from uh, from outside the studio start looking through the window and like, you fuckers, you did the, what, what, what happened? Yeah, yeah like you'll notice like on this stream, like we mostly stay sober. Like, but we, when you go down to Malta with our, with our corporate overlords, like they're always like, "Oh, take a shot of this, Joe, yeah, try this, take a shot you. of this." So you know, we're, we're drunk as shit on the air. So we have no <laughs> idea. Like, we have no idea that we're winning or losing money. Dog's name is Sushi, because it's a Japanese dog. You know? Yes, and it smells um, like fish. And yeah, and in Japan, he's food. <laughs> no, in China, in China, he's food. Not that it's anything racist or something. It's uh, that was super racist. You couldn't get more racist than that. <laughs> you brought it up. Yeah, but I mean, I don't care about being racist against the Japanese because the the Japanese I found are very racist themselves. Did I tell you what happened over there? Where, where are you from? Yeah, they they, they 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 ditched you guys or something. Yeah, right? well, we were playing. It wasn't in Tokyo. It wasn't like you know Kyoto or something. You know, some shithole. Okay, I'm kidding. Kyoto, I guess, is nice. Uh, and they had us over there playing malls. Malls? Yeah, like shopping malls. Yeah, like like we're fucking Debbie Gibson or, <laughs> or Tiffany. So they have us playing malls, and the and the we're playing like eight at night. So by the time the show's over, it's like, you know, it's like 9, 30, 10 o'clock. So, you know, we had met these Japanese girls in the show. And we're like, oh, dude, it's so early as shit. Is there any place we can go? Like, no, no, we have to go. We go home. Like, All right. And then we had like these Japanese, um, these Japanese roadies. Yeah. Like, I forget what, what their name is. One, one I didn't know we called Coco Bat Joe. I don't know what their <laughs> name is. I'm like, yo, do you guys ever been here before? We should go out. Like, no, we go back to the hotel. I'm like, okay, well, fuck it. So... Just, you know, the American, the Germans, the British, and the Canadian guys, we all go to a karaoke room. Right? Yeah, and, you, know, uh, you should. You right, know. but karaoke in Japan isn't like it is here or in, in America. You get like, like little cabins. Yeah, you don't get up in front of like a bunch of strangers. You just go into like, your own private cabin with your buddies, and then they yeah. just bring you pictures. Same, same in China, picture, yeah. A picture of beer, and then, you know, until you sing anything, you know? And they bring you food and like, plates of food and like platters and stuff, right? Right, so, you know, we're drunk as shit. And, you know, we're stumbling out of there while I'm out of the hotel at like 6 in the morning. And then we see the Japanese girls from the show and our Japanese roadies coming out of a club. And I'm like, you fucking assholes. Like, why didn't you tell us? We wanted to go to a club. Like, oh, you're not allowed in there. I'm like, what do you mean? No around eye. Uh, <laughs> no all Caucasian allowed. I'm like, what? Are you fucking cutting me? Dude, you know what happened if I opened up a club? If I go back to California open a club and said no Japs allowed, they would fucking, they would hang me. Yeah? Uh, it would have been cancelled in the time <laughs> where people didn't get cancelled. Yeah. So, you know, I'm like, how? Jeez, this country is fucking racist, you know? Yeah, you, you want to switch seats? Uh, Tartan is taking a forever smoke break. Yeah. So yeah. You're, you're more visible. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Crowd in, crowd in. Okay, so Chris, you have more questions? Yes, of course. What was the richest person you've ever met? Uh, I met Howard Stern one time. Howard Stern? Yeah. yeah. Is he a fucking rich person? His, contra his contract is for 500 million. Really? Yeah, with mysterious. Yeah. But he's also a radio host, right? Yeah. Just but like he's the he's the world's number one radio host. Yeah. Okay. I mean that that I, yeah. I would hope he would be. That's a difference. I mean, that, that, <laughs> I mean that's like who you aspire to, right? 
You're like, yeah. all actors want to be Robert De Niro, yeah. you know, all radio guys want to be Howard Stern. Howard Stern is a, is a person, 50% um, loves him and 50% hates him. Which I don't get why you would hate him. I mean, the guy, he's the nicest guy in the world. You know, and he's like, for a guy that's that famous and that rich, he's very humble and down to earth and you can just hang out and talk with him. And I've met a lot of radio hosts, present company accepted, that are just <laughs> assholes. <laughs> Probably because he's so direct. A lot of people don't like that. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't find him that funny anymore, but yeah. like, initially he was hilarious. You know, now as he's gotten older, you know, you, you can't get away with like, you know, phony phone calls and shit. And yeah, they, I mean, they, they don't, they don't do the, the what's, what's it called, Symbian or Symbian? Yeah. They don't do that shit anymore, right? I don't know. I Like, I'll be honest with you, when we went on the show, when they first switched to, uh, to, uh, from, from terrestrial radio to satellite, uh, they wanted, they were kind of um, <clears throat> courting us to have our own show, which yeah. we had for a little while. And they had given us satellite radios. Yes. And with free subscriptions. So I would listen to it then. But once you had to start paying for it, I'm like, yeah. I, I, oh, is uh, cable TV? Speaking, I speaking of Howard Stern, I mean, you, you've told the story a couple of times in the stream, but uh, I don't know if you guys know it. The one time you were in the same studio with Henry Hill. Oh, yes. Right? Yes. Uh, but here's the kicker I found the clip where. Henry Hill was talking mm -hmm. before you guys, you asshole, were getting drunk backstage with Jägermeister. <laughs> so they actually had like the interview before. Uh, you know Henry Hill? You know him, right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, who the fuck is Henry Hill? Have you seen Goodfellas? No. I, I've seen Goodfellas. Yeah, Goodfellas. Well, it's a movie that, like, yeah, Henry Hill is yeah, the, yeah. the monster that that's based on. So oh, we okay. met the real Henry Hill. Oh, not really. So there's, yeah. a, there's a clip where he's getting interviewed and they, they take callers, right? And I, I, I saw that. I don't think that's the same day because he used to be on the show a lot. Really? Yeah. I thought it was just one time. No, no, no. He was, but uh, yeah, I, he I was, thought, dude, there was like people calling and like, we're going to fucking kill you. And then yeah. you guys go out with him. Yeah. No, no, no. That, I mean, I'm sure the same people wanted to kill him, but I don't think that was the same day because he seemed sober on that. And when we were there, he was drunk as shit when he went on the air. Because uh -huh. we were drinking before he went on. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. I was like, damn. He was barely escaped. Yeah. And you, remember, you have that problem a lot at, at SRFM that guests come in and get super drunk. At like no. six in the morning? No. Never? No. You're not, you're not even rock stars and stuff? You never had a, no, a, a no guest. rock star getting drunk. I had an interviewer come drunk to the radio station. There was no. Gotta change that. Kazuchi. Kazuchi, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> no, but. No. So they have some, maybe some one or two beers or so with me, but that's all. They're all well, professional. When we went on, when we used to go on Howard Stern, like, Ye we were sponsored by Jägermeister, and Jägermeister would find out we were going on, and, like, you'll go in and plug plug, plug the product, so they would send over, like, a case of Jägermeister. Yeah. So, you know, we show up there, and our dressing room's got, you know, we show up there, like, 5.30 in the morning, because it's drive time, and we show up there, and it's fucking, like, you know, there's, a, like, 12 bottles of Jägermeister back there, so, you know, we're in there, like, what are you doing? Oh, so, we get so when did you met him? What, what you were? Well, this was probably mid, mid-2000s. Yeah. Huh? Early mid two thousands. Who did I see in the chat real quick? Jerry and Robin is here. I my interviews that were drunk. Well, got drunk during the interview. Really? But my interview spent like eight hours. Oh, okay. <laughs> you yeah. interviewed someone for eight hours? Yes. God damn it. That's not a typical interview. Like what you do? You just sit in there playing games. Oh, or you, you were live matches. streaming, yeah. basically. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to say any names, but uh, we went up there one time, and the singer and our our manager had found this uh, this rapper named JJ Sinatra. <laughs> I mean, I thought it was fucking horrible, but, like, these guys were willing to, to, to spend money on this asshole. With well, a white guy. Yeah, a white guy. Like, a white rapper, you know? Yeah. The next Eminem. They thought, <laughs> they thought. Like, and they, he, he, he's thinking he's, like, this massive rock star, you know? And, and also, they had fucking brought him to Europe and had him opening for us, even though he got booed off stage every fucking month. <laughs> so, you know, we get up to, to Howard Stern, and we're in, the, we're in the green room, we're drinking, and this... This giant blonde bra with these huge tits, like, keeps looking over and I'm like, God, here's that. I was like, oh, that's a, uh, I don't want to say that, but that's like this famous porn star. And eventually she works away and like, hey, can I have some of what you're drinking? I'm like, and I was shooting our DVD then. And I was like, yeah, I'll give you, I'll give you a shot of Jägermeister for, if you could, you know, can you do an amusing trick 
can you stand on your head and, and, and recite, need some content and recite the the, the, the the alphabet backwards or I don't know sing the Star Spangled or something you know do, do something and she's like oh I can't really do anything I'm like well I'll see you later then and, but JJ is convinced he's gonna get blown by this porn star so he keeps sneaking her at Jägermeister and you know we're there for like maybe an hour and a half in the green room before we go on and like he's convinced he's gonna get blown by this chick and, you know, after about now, I'm like, JJ, you think I, you really think I'm this fucking stupid? Like, you don't think I see what you're doing? Like, JJ, this chick is not going to fucking blow you in the bathroom. You know, <laughs> there's no way that's possibly going to happen. You are a fucking nobody. You know what you do to not be a fucking nobody? Like, what I would do, if I was in your shoes, I would concentrate on being the most brilliant JJ I can. Because I know you think you're the biggest rock star in the world, but, dude, this, and you're going to be on Howard Stern every fucking week? Dude, this is it for you. You, one chance. You're going to be on this show one chance today, right now, and you will never, ever, and I want to emphasize, ever be on anybody. It's not going to help your career. It certainly isn't going to help my DVD because nobody gives a shit about you getting laid or getting blown in a bathroom. I can't even <laughs> fucking film that. Yeah. So what I would do if I was you would just concentrate on your, on your, your appearance. So he puts me right at the top of his pain on mind list. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> He's getting her drunk. I mean, 20 years ago, she was kind of she was kind of hot. Yeah, you know? she was okay. But he uh, was shit. Yeah, but anyhow, he ends up going to the bathroom with her, and she's like, "What the fuck are we doing in here?" She's like, "Oh well." I, she's like, who, "Who are you? You're nobody. What the fuck's the matter with you? No, I'm not gonna do anything with you." But she's super fucking drunk. And then she like goes on the air and she is like shit drunk. And I'm like, it's six in the morning. What the fuck happened? He's like, oh man, this guy's like, oh, God, got me so fucking drunk. He's like, get those guys in here. And we go in there. I'm like, no, <laughs> I wanted to get her drunk, but she couldn't. She can't do anything amusing. So this idiot JJ. Who's supposed to be on the air with us, but he's passed out in the bathroom. Did he pass out? <laughs> so he's not even going to be here. He got her. He's like, well, <laughs> let's find out if she can do anything in music. So we had her, like, butt-ass naked, riding the Symbian, <laughs> orgasming all over, it, until eventually, like, we were supposed to be on for 20 minutes. We ended up being on there until they go off the air. We were on the, in there for, like, two and a half hours. <laughs> fucking with this chick and eventually she's passed out on the floor in the middle of the studio and we have to walk out over her <laughs> over her cadaver to get out Jesus yeah well she got fired for that stunt from your manager didn't you <clears throat> no that was Chasey Lane got fired oh oh right I don't, I don't think her manager I mean like if there I mean this was like I mean I don't want to bad mouth Gina Lisa but this was basically the Gina Lisa of America yeah. Oh, I mean, I like Gina Lisa, but I think sometimes she doesn't make the best. You ever met Gina? Gina. Uh, yeah, I was. Gina uh, Lisa. Does... Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, she's a nice chick, but I think sometimes she she makes decisions that are not the best for her career. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you were with her. But she the... was really, really popular. Popular. She. Yeah. Well, she she was ago. she was with my management company. So when we would do what? like uh, when we would do like. Um, yeah, like these messes, like uh, conventions for for DJing and for with all the you know gastronomy and club owners would come. Her and I would do shows together, and she would be you know like we're gonna have a Jägermeister chick probably yeah. at the Star FM party. She would be the, the Jägermeister chick there. Yeah. And so you know we would party together, and uh, then we ended up being in uh, a reality show together, mm. which she. Ended up getting herself kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> Did she want to get kicked out on purpose? But she didn't get paid at the end or something, right? Right, right. If you if you voluntarily take yourself out, then you don't. Oh, what is this? Fucking nothing. Uh, You're bleeding money out here. Uh, oh fuck off. Yeah, she ended up. Maybe you should having, to she ended up cents. Like you don't get your full pay if. Unless they vote you off the show, which is why I beg to get voted off the show. Yeah. If you voluntarily leave the show, then you. What kind of reality show are you? It was called Camp to Reality Stars. Oh, right. And it was horrible. <laughs> oh, and what a bunch of assholes in that. I mean, so you, made a, you made a reality TV show. What was it? Uh, in, in a... 
this year? What was it? No, that is a survival show. Oh, it was a oh, huge. Oh, I'm sorry. It, 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 I'm sorry. It was a massive. <laughs> oh, that that uh, it's a survival show where it's not fucking reality stories. Yeah. It's you know like military guys and like you know and you survival. Military yeah. guys and you. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if you saw who won the show. But, uh, <laughs> apparently, I am a military guy. I mean, how many survival shows have you done so so far? I mean, you you've been on a couple of like wild adventures and shit. No, uh, no, no. We, we, when I had the show on Pro Seven and Max, I would go out and do survival shit with it, but it wasn't a survival ah. show. That was just, that was like a science show. But I didn't want to do regular science, so I went on and do bullshit like that. Yeah. But this was the first like survival. It could have been great, show. but the, the director was kind of like, uh, no, nah, let's don't don't do that and don't do this and. Yeah. Do we ask the, the shit some questions, so maybe if they watch reality shows or... We ask like them, that? but they usually don't answer because they don't care about us. They just ah, okay. <laughs> just, just watch how, how much money. I mean, we're, we're basically just... We're, we're like the we're background noise. We're just static in the okay. background, okay. white noise. Yeah. Maybe people are cooking and stuff, or, yeah. you know, they're, they're like doing shit, and then a, a couple of assholes talking. So if I have my... When, when I have my, my radio show... Oh, look at this! Look at that! Look at that! Uh, uh, you, you, you could that get, could be something. That could be something. Uh, John Connolly, I want a fucking flower! Uh, you piece of shit. I think we're gonna change the game at some point. It's, it's not treating us very good. No. So we can change the question if you want. Hey, no, no, go ahead. Yeah. So, which internet page did you wizard last? Pornhub. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> might, might have been X Hamster, I don't know. Okay, fuck, fuck this game, we're bleeding money. Let's. Uh, yeah, we'll find a new one. Uh, well, this one was paying yesterday quite good, so we uh, try it out. Yeah. But this this question, the next question is one of my favorite. What's your hangover cue? Oh, oh well, oh. allow me to introduce you <laughs> to Evil Jared's hangover control. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We, uh, the Banana Man and I invented a Hang hangover. On. That should hangover be a package. Yeah, we got it around here somewhere. We've never given you this stuff? No. Oh. Uh. I'll get one. Yeah. So, you know, we... You, uh, so you have, you have your own product? Yeah, we, yeah, we have our own. Yeah, you, buy it, you buy it on Amazon. <laughs> Link in bio. Wait, <laughs> wait, 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 Because, you know, the banana man and I are severe alcoholics. So we would go out and, like, we're like, okay, well, you know, if we're going to go out and do these shows all the time, we need to have a way that we're not going to be, like, sick the next day. So, you know, we, we looked on the internet and found, okay, this supposedly... Uh, cures hangovers, or this will prevent a hangover. Uh, we started out with Gatorade. And we looked at what was in Gatorade because, you know, in America, the trick to not get drunk is before you go to sleep, you drink like a half gallon of Gatorade, and then yeah. the electrolytes stop it. So we started with that, but we put a lot more electrolytes in this. And then... Come on, Werbung machen? Yeah, a lot of time. And then other things we found, like I think there's a powdered pigeon feces in there, and there's a, a pygmy type of, uh, of, of rat goat that is only in China, and you powder <laughs> the penis, and you grow that in there, and we got some of that in there. Oh, and he, I mean, yeah, it works No, but, but uh, full disclosure, there was one ingredient I couldn't get because it's too expensive to get, but there is in the Antarctic, like there are like, like pigeons, mm -hmm. actually, but and they do the nest with like pitch and puke. So they eat up fish and shit and then they puke and they make a nest out of it, right? And so the Eskimos were, they take this nest and make a tea out of it and that's a hangover cure. Do, are Eskimos alcoholics? Because I know Eskimos, I mean, being that it is Thanksgiving, I know Eskimos are distantly related to the Indians and I know the Indians are severe alcoholics. Maybe, uh, the Amara, uh, Sending, of course, me a fire, uh, fire yeah. emoji. That doesn't look like so do, you, do, do you take this before drinking, after you drinking? One before and, well. And one after. Yeah. Okay. Like, technically, you're only, the amount of ingredients in that means you're only allowed to take it once every 24 hours. But if you take one before midnight and one after midnight, it's a it's it's a fucking win win. Yamaha saying hello. But you know that's mine now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah so. take, okay. take it. Take the box. Yeah. And Sam is in the house. Sam Hill it? Wie geht es euch? Uns geht's super. Ah, hey Sam! Wie geht's dir? How are you? Ah, good. Lots of stuff today going on. Yeah, it's a big day today. We're gonna go out and uh, we're, we're shooting a video for our Christmas song. Uh, Krogi's not gonna be here. And he wants to shoot the video. Um, it's gonna be POV. 
But it's gonna be not here today or Saturday. No, it's here today. We're shooting. I got the director coming over, or not the director, but I, I hired a, uh, I hired a, uh, I guess he's like a, D, a DP. Yeah. And he's gonna come over here after we're done streaming. A DP? Gonna, yeah. Not, not that bad <laughs> a DP. And uh, he, we're gonna shoot some initial scenes over here before we go over to the club. But it's all gonna be shot on GoPro. Yeah. And you know, fucking, <clears throat> Kobe's like, oh, I'll send you a GoPro. Like, dude, next day, air, next day. Air. Like, nah, it's only Hamburg to Berlin. It'll be there. Ah. Fucking never showed up. Luckily, Yoko and Klaas, the offices are across the street from my my apartment. So I went over there and said, can I borrow a GoPro? And yeah. I was like, hey, oh, nice. take this. Hey, banana. So, when that video comes out, that's thanks to Yoko and Klaas. Banana man, naciste in Mexico? ¿Cómo es que ahora vives en Alemania? Oh, that's Mexican. Yeah. Uh, well, I was born in Mexico, but I've been living in Germany for... I'm willing to bet that's a Nigerian catfish. But 30 yeah, years? Yeah, go ahead and believe it's a Mexican. <laughs> Tito Harry. Sounds like a guy. I don't know. But I've been living in Germany like for 30 years. I don't know. Estoy bien peda, yeah. Oh, no, it's a girl. Yeah? Peda is the feminine of uh, drunk. Is it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So drunk is a f masculine and feminine in Spanish. I know, well, I know some, some Spanish words. Excelente. Sal uh, taco. Salud. Burrito. <laughs> Spaghetti. <laughs> yeah. That's my Italian. Yeah. <laughs> pasta, pasta, pizza, pizza. Dude, I, I had to balance up nicely and now, uh, yeah. And now you've lost it. So Jeremy, you lost it. I, <laughs> I'm not the one picking the games, I'm, asshole. I'm, I'm, I'm blaming you. Pendejo, pinchado, <laughs> pinchicarón, medicón. Y de profesora de español. Oh, nice. Soy, soy capitán. <laughs> La bamba. Yeah, Jared has uh, he he knows Chicano uh, Spanish. I know I know the the Spanish that you get yelled at you on the street in Los Angeles. <laughs> you, you know, like <laughs> ese, ese, pinche hoto, el cabrón. You, you, you know, like a Home Depot Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> I know enough to get day labor. <laughs> I need guys to work on that. It's a Home Depot and Walmart parking lot, <laughs> Spanish. <laughs> All right, so you, well, I mean, we got to get to the news soon, but you have, uh, you have more questions for us? Yeah, yeah hey, of hey, hey, Save a couple of questions for Holly when she comes in. Okay, okay. So okay. you want to get to the news? Yeah, let's okay. do it. All right, all right. So uh, bring, bring, bring the news, bring the news up. Uh, oh, what's now? What's now? Well, I mean, there's not that much news this week because I didn't have the internet, but uh, we got a couple of stories here. The news. Man, I'm excited. <laughs> Okay, so I don't really have any Thanksgiving news, although today is Thanksgiving, but yesterday, Thanksgiving Eve, was yes. the 50th anniversary, November 22nd, 50th anniversary of the Kennedy assassination. Oh, yeah. yes. Oh, I heard something about that. Yes, and um, MAGA still thinks that Kennedy is alive and is still ruling the country. <laughs> I have no idea why, because, um, well, first of all, he was a Democrat. Second of all, he'd be like 130 years old, yeah. <laughs> but uh, they, think, they think he's still alive. Oh, oh. And speaking of Donald, do you, you have anything on that? Sorry? Do you have anything about the, about the Kennedy? No. Just, just heard. Okay. Uh, Rosalind Carter, a former first lady, has died. All, I mean, we're not allowed to do really? a pool pool. But she, was, she also was 96. 96. 96, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I mean, like, we've been announcing every week. Jimmy Carter, still alive. He's been in hospice for like six months. He's still alive. Yeah, they put Rosalind Carter in the hospice, and like two days later, she's uh, <laughs> I mean... If you guys are allowed to have ghoul pools at work, we're not allowed to have it here. Our, our corporate uh, overlords say no ghoul pools. <laughs> but I, my money would be on, on Jimmy Carter. Jimmy Carter before Christmas. Oh, we got some money. Hey, here we go. How much? 60 bucks. Sensational. Yes. The joke would be, what is Rosalind Carter getting for Christmas? <laughs> Jimmy Carter. Jimmy Carter. <laughs> so when oh, was Jimmy Carter president? Ooh, was it a, the, seven, the, seven, the 70s? The 70s. The Malays era. Yeah, I tried that joke. Um, it was at the brief period between when um, between when Farrah Fawcett and Michael Jackson had died, but Patrick Swayze was still alive. Okay. And I tried that at the Bamboozle Festival in New Jersey. And? <laughs> hey, ooh. ooh. No one. No one. Ooh. <laughs> no one. <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, uh, I, I think I have a. This is a. This is an. This is a video daily double. Uh, what? Um, w uh, I don't know which. Okay, yeah, okay. So bring this up. Okay. Okay, so you know this handsome fellow. 
know who this is? That is reality star Nick Hogan, son of uh, Hulk Hogan. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Who, uh, in 2008, in a drunk driving accident, uh, paralyzed uh, the, the guy in the passenger seat of the car. Uh, you know, sent the, the guy is, speaking of hospice, this guy has never gotten out of a wheelchair since then. Almost brain dead. Yeah. Uh, so that he got arrested in 2008. Guess what he did last week? Um, he joined the double A meeting. Uh, no, no, it wasn't no. That. Uh, not he, that. Not double A or triple A. He was working at a homeless shelter, taking care of his fellow man. Guess again. Oh shit. Uh, ah. I know. What? Oh, he got arrested. For <laughs> 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 what? Um, was it? Uh, I don't know. Having too much hair? No. 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 Oh shit. Oh. DUI. DUI, <laughs> exactly. You know, I mean, I would think if you put one of your friends, you made one of your friends brain dead, maybe that's your wake-up call that you shouldn't be... Drinking doing, and driving? Drinking and driving. Like, like my wake-up call, I wasn't even doing it. I, my, let, my, my roommate was driving my car. Right, he said he was good to drive, right? And I'm, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm too drunk to drive, but yeah, I'll let him drive. And then, you know, we're out in the middle of a field somewhere, and the cops pull us over. And, like, turns out he's drunk as shit. I'm like... They're like, well, you're, you let this guy drive your car? I'm like, well, yeah, I didn't know he was drunk. They're like, well, well <laughs> why'd you let him drive it? I'm like, because I'm drunk. <laughs> so they're like, well, here, let me breathalyze. I'm like, you don't need to breathalyze me. I'm sitting in the passenger seat. I just told you I was drunk. I can be as drunk as I want in the passenger seat. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, well, you know, you have to take me to the police station because I can't drive. And she's like, I'm not going to let him drive. <laughs> So they think it's over there. <laughs> you know? Dude, he's going he's gonna to get jail time. Yeah, well, of course. But, uh, yeah, I mean, he spent uh, three like three or four months in jail for paralyzing that guy. But, like, my roommate then, like, they suspended his license for three months. And, you know, he, so he couldn't drive to work. He had to pay his lawyers. He had to pay the fines. He had to get an apartment closer to work. Yeah. So he could get, so he could go there for, like, the three months he couldn't drive. It ended up costing him, like, 10000 bucks. Yeah. And I'm like, I ain't fucking getting into that, you know. So I stop. I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna drink and drive anymore. Hey, you know, when we were kids, drinking and drive is all we did. I did it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, I fucking grew up in the woods. You know, you drive yeah. around, you and your buddy. You know, you're, you go around smoking yeah. bowls. You get a case of bottles, usually, usually bush, and then you drive around. And you score points throwing bottles at the speed limit <laughs> sign. You know, and I realized at some point, you know, I don't want to pay a fucking ten thousand dollar fine, so I stopped doing it. But this motherfucker, I mean, I guess rich people are different. You know, if your dad's a millionaire, I guess it doesn't matter if you uh, fucking get a DUI and then go out and get another one. So what does Hot say to this thing? So oh, yeah, brother, you're going to jail. <laughs> going to jail, brother. <laughs> oh yeah, that was macho, man. <laughs> but yeah, okay. So Nick Hogan back, back in the hot seat. Yeah, I mean, Hulk Hogan did have a comment, but it, it involved the end bomb a lot, yeah. so yeah, oh. it was edited. All right, so um, Elon Musk in the news. Oh, that's uh, right. Yeah, yeah, he is um, he has sued the watchdog group Media Matters for defamation. Uh, the X platform, uh, formerly known as Twitter, has sued Media Matters for defamation after the nonprofit published a report about ads for major brands appearing alongside touts posting, posting Nazism, which they did. Yeah, which, I mean, they are. I mean, Elon Musk, well, I mean, the guy is from South Africa. Yeah. And he ain't a black guy from South Africa. No. So, you know, maybe he's not racist, but, like, all the evidence on X would suggest the opposite of that. So, I don't think you can sue someone for defamation for pointing out, uh, yeah, you have Nazi posts on there. And not only that, but he's, like, liking Nazi posts. And uh, just gets worse for him, because um, the SpaceX, SpaceX logged a rocket last yeah. week. Guess what it did? I landed on the moon. Guess again. Uh, Mars. Mm, give me a third, third guess. Uh, oh, it blew up. Oh, yes, it blew <laughs> up. And the only thing blowing up more than the uh, than the rocket is the advertisers rushing to leave Twitter. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, and the, the advertisers that have lost Twitter because, not only because of the, the rocket uh, explosion, but I think probably because of the Nazis. It's thing. crazy that the advertisers drop uh, stop advertising in the busiest advertising yeah. uh, month of just the year, in, Christmas. Ju yeah, just in the past month, Apple, IBM, Disney, Paramount, NBC, Comcast, Lionsgate, Warner Brothers, and Discovery. Discovery's dropped them. Like Discovery Channel or the yeah, credit card? Discovery Channel. Oh. They're the same thing. Really? No, Discover. Oh. And Discovery. Ah. 
Wait, I mean Discovery. I mean they let us do ads for them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in other news, uh, you know this Cassie? Apparently she's like a rapper or something. I'd never heard of her. Cassie? Yeah, her name's Cassie. Yeah, I don't know. But anyhow, she says uh, that Pete. And you know when you hear like mogul rap producer in trouble, you're thinking Kanye, right? Yeah, but uh, this time it's Diddy. Apparently, Diddy um, threatened to blow up uh, the rapper Kid Cootie's car in his driveway. And then guess what happened three days later? It blew up? It blew up! Really? <laughs> and, uh, it, it must have been a Tesla that was overcharged. <laughs> you know? They, 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 those blew up if, he, like, if you don't get it on, uh, off the truck. Yeah, so, you know, and Diddy said he had nothing to do with it. Uh, Raymo is cheering with beer. Hmm. There you go. That's, that's believable testimony. Uh, in more rap news, you heard this? Snoop Dogg is, says he is done with smoking weed. Yeah, but uh, not, yeah. Really. You know, not really. You know, you know, I went no to see I, I went to see in Berlin a Snoop Dogg DJ show. Yeah. Uh, he said Snoop Dogg, you know, DJ set. There was another DJ playing. Snoop Dogg did nothing but stand on stage and smoke a joint. Didn't say anything. <laughs> he just stood there and smoked a joint for two hours, and then took his hundred thousand dollars and went home. But you didn't, you didn't know that it was just a stunt to promote a fucking uh, fireplace. Uh, fireplace. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was like a round fireplace or something. The, the smoke place. Smoke, yeah. smoke, smoke. Oh, I, I figured he was doing it because he had a new line of CBD gummies coming no. out. No, no he was like, oh. it was like a promotion for uh, some, uh, I don't know, $500 fireplace or something. Yeah. Fireplace. Smoke free fireplace. As I yeah. said, I haven't had the internet for a week, so you know, I'm, I'm just getting bits and pieces. Here. Yeah, Jared was transported back to the to the 90s. Yeah. Okay. Um, in America, guess who is now uh, who's now the hero of TikTokers in America? Damn. After his manifesto came out. TikTokers in America? Yes. I barely know about TikTokers in okay, Germany. Well, 2023. This is something that happened 20, 22 years ago. Something happened in America. This guy was responsible for it. A bunch of people died. Involved airplanes and buildings. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah okay, yeah, so yeah, Osama yeah, yeah. Bin Laden. The, the beardy guy, and it's not Santa. Right. <laughs> so apparently, like, somebody has spread his manifesto around TikTok saying, oh, well, you know, th we're, we're looking for rights. We're, we're, we're doing this as a protest and trying to get rights for these people to get recognized. And TikTokers are now thinking, oh, what a hero. What a great guy. I did it. Only like 3,000 people had to die. What a great, what a great, what a great, what a great fellow that old Obama is. Oh, sorry, Osama. Oh, now we are in uh, Amelia's favorite part of the news. Oh, oh MAGA right. news. And I don't even think. All right, well, I'm gonna mention the guy. I mean, with all the, um, you know, no. we'll start out with this. Okay. Uh, the second place Republican candidate for president, number two. Like, I think she has like 14. Really? Immediately had him escorted out by security. Drugged the 15 year old out. Oh, damn. Did he get hand handcuffed or tasered? Uh, no, probably. <laughs> I mean, you know, in the hallway, I'm sure. <laughs> so, I, I'm getting, if she's president. And then for asking questions. Well, yeah, if she's president and can't deal with a fit with a teenager who's not even old enough to vote. You think she's gonna be? Yeah, she's she used, she's used to power now. She's gonna snap her fingers like get him out of my sight. Yeah, but do you think she's gonna do well against like the leaders of North Korea and Russia and China? No, she would. She would fit right in. Yeah. She's not gonna be able. To, the security's not gonna hold them off with the teenagers. <laughs> no, but they're gonna find the common ground. Like, uh, yeah, yeah. what tailors do you use? Yeah, well, yeah, I guess much like her, much like her mentor, she uh, will, will probably. Do it. I mean, and I've actually watched some of her interviews. And I mean, some of them make, a, make some sense. And you know, sometimes in the debate she does okay. But uh, you know, she just has this stench on her. You know, the, the, the stench of bronzer and hairspray and adult diapers. That, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah it's, it's hard to get off. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's hard to, to get the, I mean, I know. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a wash out, you know? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, um, in other news, oh, um, yeah. Human Yeti, uh, you know this chick, my cousin? What? <laughs> uh, Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene has put out her book. She can write? Yes, yes, she released her book. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, Who is she? She is uh, the representative from Georgia. Oh, okay. And you don't have to be able to read to be able to write a book, I guess. You know, if you're going to have a ghost. You probably got a ghost writer and uh... Well, well, it, it came out on Amazon. Maybe and it's a coloring book. Yeah, well, it would have to be to please her boss. <laughs> uh, and guess how it's doing in the reviews. Uh, five stars? 
Uh, no, less than that. Oh, shit. It's gotta one, be one. One star. One star. Yes. I mean, it's been out for a week, so apparently four people have read it, and <laughs> four, the, of the four people that read it, every review is horrible. Damn. Um, review number one. I saw my neighbor throwing this book into the trash and asked me if I could read it first. Boy, what a boring mistake. This book is far from any reality and full of imaginations. Don't waste your time. Uh, next, one out of five stars. Total fiction. I couldn't even get through half of the book. Marjorie Taylor Greene is living in a different world than most people. You can tell it stretches truth and imagination. Um, the next one. One out of five stars. <coughs> Filled with lies. America first. Printed in Canada. No se escucha nada. Uh, hang on. What's that? Uh, audio is uh, it's good. Sound stop working. Our sound stop working? Kilo Hidari, uh, your sound stop working. Okay, that shouldn't be... Sam, can you hear us? Type Sam, can you hear us in there? Hey Sam, can you hear us? Well, obviously not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hang on, I gotta, I'm gonna restart this real quick. So now we can say the bad words. Check, 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 check. Yeah, it's Twitch. We can say bad words all we want. You just can't show nipples. Not even okay. male nipples. How about, how, how about now? Nipples? No. How about now? Can you, can you hear us? And speaking of nipples, our guest joining us in the second hour. <laughs> Nope. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, will be here Hi. Soon. Why is that not working? Check, 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 check. Well, that's doing something. Check, check, check. Um, Time for a little hey, break. Hey, in the uh, gotta, spin, uh, in the spins check, can you tell us if you're if you're hearing anything? Holy shit, we're down to seventeen hundred bucks. Yeah. Wow, we are. We haven't had one win uh, yet. Okay, Spins does hear us, so I'm gonna restart the stream real quick. Go so it's uh, 